Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where hopefully we've gotten through all that terrible pixely stuff and you guys have been able to stick with me up until now. Um, I've been editing today trying to get that stuff fixed but now I'm taking a break because I got my new monitor which hopefully you guys can, you'll definitely be able to tell. <laughs> Um, I will double check this episode after I finish it, but also the nice thing about this new monitor is that I can have uh, headphones on it and it won't mess up the audio going to the Elgato to the recording. So I can hear stuff now and I can put my mic in front of the TV because it won't pick up any feedback. I just checked. <laughs> yeah, there's no feedback. So this is exciting. We're leveling up our game. Uh, okay, well, okay, we're leveling up our game, which is dope. Uh, I still have to speak squ quietly because I am still in the hotel. Um, but this is nice that we're getting this figured out before Mass Effect 2. Uh, I know, I see you. Critical failure. Critical failure. Absolutely not. I think we were talking about it a little bit, but she's just so annoying. We were talking about it a little bit, I don't know if it got into the episode or not, but um, how you would probably actually see like tons of dead bodies out here in reality, but the game, uh, A, either doesn't want to put it, you know, the developers didn't want to put it in, because it's a little bit, you know, it's like we're not a gory game, you know, uh, and two, uh, I don't know if the games, the consoles and PCs back then could render as many bodies as would be necessary. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions <laughs> across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Uh, Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Let's <laughs> approach with caution. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. I just have to say, so up until like the last few episodes, my my TV that I've been using in the hotel hasn't been hasn't really been too much of a problem. It's been about a 720, at least for me visually, and for you guys for the most part it has been until something happened on the stream. I still don't know what happened on that front, um, but um, it is, I was trying to say, it's been so, it just the last like two minutes has been so nice to see everybody in their full glory, and honestly, I was thinking about getting this new monitor, thank you patrons, um, for <laughs> pretty, for a while now, because a, I don't want to drive all the way to my old place and get my old one and unpack it and then like rebuild it over here, um, and then have to take it all the way back, um, but uh, I really wanted to see Thane in <laughs> a higher quality TV, so I was strongly considering getting a new one and just like giving it to like as like a gift or uh, or just keeping it and giving my old one that I have uh, that was just still fairly new as a gift. So I like this one so far though. I'll have to take a picture of it and send it because uh, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of smaller than my other ones, but I think I might I might like that better. I don't know. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has begun, <laughs> a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. No, no, it will not. Not if we don't fix it. Anyway, I don't know why they made her look so, like, humanoidly spooky and not just, like, her code messing up. Where's Saren? 
Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. She's so spooky. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failure. I don't remember. <laughs> we can't. I'm like going over here to look at this dang you, which we looked at before. Which is funny because way, 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 way back. Um, I have to go up. Um, uh, what's his name? Caden specifically said that, that that thing put his teeth on edge. He could like sense something with it, with his uh, like his implant or his um. Look at this matchy matching. Ugh, I love it so much. Um, either with his implant or just through his biotics, but. Oh, hey. No! That's just him being pissy. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! Now we get to see the Turians in their full glory. Oh my gosh, I get to see this fight in its, like, full glory. Look at this. They realize too late that you can't, like, it doesn't care, like, you know? They start, they start to turn just too late when they realize it's just coming straight at them. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice in HD. Look at this. Oh. Like, not just me having a new monitor, but just in general, like, with the Legendary Edition. Like, this all... There is, there's distinct differences in Sovereign. It looks much, like more like of an organic, uh, synthetic hybrid. Spooky! And we're like, oh wow, look at that. Saren's locked the elevator! Suit up! We're going outside! This is so epic! Oh! Gravity has changed. Conveniently, because the arms closed. <laughs> Which it wasn't changed in the elevator, but... Okay, also, this, uh, this is gonna absolutely destroy me. Look at Tally jumping up and down, she's ready to go. I'm not, this is gonna suck. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna fail so many times. Actually, let's just get this out of the way. We'll get all those cutscenes out of the way. I think it already saved for me, but... We're just, just gonna save, just in case. Come on out, do it. Yeah, there you are. Nerds. Oh, that's... Well, that hit the wrong person. What the... What are you doing there? A rocket trooper, that's not allowed. There's gonna be a Krogan that shows up at some point and that's gonna be just oodles of fire. Oh, I did the, mm, I did sabotage. You can't, you can't fire at me with rockets. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was weird. Tally, I swear. 
I don't know why they get right in front of me every time. My own companions. I'm gonna save every chance I get. But they're gonna keep throwing them at me. Nobody. Oh, I did. I have. I had it. Okay, there we go. Where did they, where did this guy go though? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, good. This is excellent. It's glitched into the wall. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. I'll take it. The gang glitches out on me often enough. I don't feel like it's unfair for me to take advantage <laughs> of when it glitches in my favor. It's hard to shoot straight out. Oh, they're gonna keep throwing enemies at me in just the right places. That I won't be able to save. Yikes! Okay, never mind. Okay, what I really miss right now is in Andromeda, you can flip which shoulder you're aiming over. And uh, as far as I know, you can't do that here. I say we're. Do I'm like we're gonna. We're doing pretty well, but I'm. We're absolutely gonna get destroyed. Can I just throw you off the edge? No. Yes. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I think that actually worked. A sniper. <laughs> See if I can't pick it up. Nope. All right, you just need to cease. No, please. Oh my gosh, I was so scared. I was like, how long did I get the stasis upgraded for? Oh, is that one still alive? I sure hope that works. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, leave it. We gave it a valiant attempt. That probably was. This is probably the spot to save too, if it wasn't for that guy still being alive. Yeah. Also, can I just say that it's really nice that I can see the edges of my screen again? I haven't been able to see the edges of my screen because I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't
couldn't get my monitor. To like adjust, like, well I couldn't get the TV, I was using a TV screen. And it was, like sometimes the TV screens in hotels will let you um, like adjust them, but not this one. No, well, actually let's use. Oh, it auto saved. Let's save anyway. It's like on these corners, you can sometimes get a save in. Get help, get help, get help, get, get help, get help. Oh, I should have just. Oh my gosh, this is dumb. Okay. Look at that! Oh my gosh, look at the legs. It's spooky. Okay. Going all in. I'm oh, going all in, I say, as I get stuck. It's fun, he says. Okay, good. I don't think warp does anything. Oh my gosh. I don't think warp does anything against synthetics. Which is why I always like to have a technician with me. Oh, jeez. We should have AI hacked it. I don't know if you can hack that one, but... What? Did we... Oh, no. Oh, go away. Are you dead already? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Being a biotic, though, that's you have some really great cryo control. How are they? How are they firing those rockets? Yikes. 
Would you stab? Their momentum takes them so far. Okay, dare I, dare I say we're not actually getting our butts handed to us nearly as much as I thought we would? Watch me absolutely get destroyed here. I think... Those are Geth turret emplacements that I'm gonna have to break, maybe? Oh, jeez. I also don't think these are enough. Gosh, there's someone to my right. Can't fire. No, 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 no. Catching you up. Oh, no. Where was... The, I think the other one was firing at me. Okay, look. See, this is exactly why you don't say we're doing pretty well, because this is what happens. Okay, I got that one down. They're just focusing on Rex right now, who can apparently just tank these rockets like nobody's business. Tally didn't, as you can see. <laughs> oh, I sometimes I forget, but when I first played this game, every time, like every every step I took, I was looking up. Like as you come up, like you can, the legs get closer and closer, and the center gets closer and closer. It's terrifying. Truly. Oh boy, man, that was not too bad. I honestly thought that whole section was going to give us more trouble. Um... I think I'm gonna have to call this one here. It might be a little short, and I apologize for that, but uh, this upcoming stuff might be a little bit, kick my butt a little more, but thank you all so much for joining me and for putting up with the dang nap episodes before this. I appreciate you a lot. And oh, before I forget, I wanna say thank you to my patrons. An extra special thank you, because as I've said before, they have helped me buy this new monitor, which will hopefully solve all my problems, including world peace. Woohoo! <laughs> no. But uh, I want to give a special thank you to every single one of them, but especially to my sapling patrons. Uh, specifically to Reese Scalito, uh, who is one of my sapling patrons, as I've already said. And thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much for your help. And a special thank you to Scala Munger, who was my first sapling patron, my first patron, uh, actually, overall. So thank you again for that extra special cool uh, thing that you have, little title next to your name, I guess. Um, but I want to give a, an extra, extra special thank you to Christopher, who is my tree patron, and who the sun and stars are all, uh, you know, they circle around your leafy treetops and... 
Uh, yeah, that's where the metaphor went, so didn't even go anywhere. But thank you uh, so much for your help and for your uh, support and comments and everything. I appreciate it. So uh, I wanted to say thank you to everyone again, and I hope to see you in the next one.